Hi and welcome again. In the previous episode, I've shown you how to perform the test of hypothesis by making the big six, which are defining the hypothesis, specify the level of significance, finding the p-value, defining the criteria of rejection, making the decision, and give the conclusion. I'm able to move forward since I believe you fully comprehended the last episode. It will be my pleasure to clear up any doubts you may have, so please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Let's read and get started on the second exercise solution right now. Use the following datasets to work out the following. Use appropriate parametric and non-parametric text to examine if there is significance relationship between initial and final heights. 2b. Use appropriate parametric and non-parametric tests to examine if on the average the initial height is 3.5. 2c. Use appropriate parametric and non-parametric tests to examine if there is significant difference in final height among the fertilizers. Kindly focus on the terms that are underlined. This will help us decide what kind of test to use. For the question 2a, we have the keyword relationship that show us that we must perform a correlation test. Well then, what is correlation? Correlation refers to the statistical relationship between two variables. It measures the degree to which changes in one variable are associated with change in another variable. Correlation is often denoted by the symbol R and can range from minus one to one. Let me show you some important properties to have in mind when reading the correlation results. When correlation is equal to 1, there is a perfect positive correlation. When correlation is equal to minus 1, there is a perfect negative correlation. When correlation is equal to 0, there is no correlation or there is no linear correlation. When correlation is greater than 0, there is a weak positive correlation. When correlation is less than 0, there is a strong negative correlation. Now, let's perform the parametric test, which will be the Pearson test, by following our big six. Hypothesis. Null hypothesis, there is no relationship. The alternative hypothesis, there is a relationship between variables. Level of significance, the most common, 0.05. We can consider that. What about the p-value? Let's go to Stata and perform the test. First, let's check the data sets. Okay, we have three types of fertilizers. Fertilizers type 1, fertilizer type 2, and fertilizer type 3. And we have the initial height and the final height of tomato. Now let's perform the test. We want to see that or if these two variables, if they have a positive relationship or a significant relationship or not. You can see that between initial and final, the result of correlation is 0 0.482, which is not close to 1. Now by reading our big 6, for this test we don't have the p-value, but we have the correlation results. The one that I'm mentioning now, which is 0 0.4822. Okay. Criteria of rejection, we can consider the properties of correlation, which I have mentioned in, in a few minutes or in a few seconds, or even the p-value, when it's less than the level of significance. The decision for this exercise, we could say that this indicates a weak positive correlation, and the conclusion we conclude that the relationship between initial and final height of tomato is not significant. Now let's perform the non-parametric test. 
which will be the Spearman test. We have the same hypothesis, the same level of significance. What about the p-value? For this one, the p-value and the correlation result will show up. Let's go to state. We have the correlation result, which is 0 0.4001, which is not close to 1, indicates a weak positive correlation, which shows that the relationship is not significant. And we have the p-value, which is giving us sustainability on the correlation result, showing that it's greater than 0 0.05, and we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Let's read the big six, p-value here already and the correlation result criteria of rejection p-value is less than 0 0.05 we can consider this one the decision since the p-value is greater than 0, 0.0 we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclusion we conclude that the relationship between initial and final height of tomato is not significant for the next episodes, I will bring the solution of the 2B and 2C question. In the last question, I will provide the data set so that you can practice by yourself. Well, enjoy and see you soon.